Assalamu alaikum. I'm Ahmad Ashraf bin Al Zahar. Al Bain Taiwan said that if we had just one hour to find a solution on which his life depended, he would spend the first 50, 55 minutes to define the real problems, the real questions. Then, after defining the problem, once he did the right question to ask, he could solve the problem in less than five minutes. Today, humanity faced such a large threatening problems. How are we to provide adequate nutrition and a decent quality of life to global populations? There is set to surpass 9 billion in 2050. Unconsciously, it is damaging our planetary life support system. To find solutions, we must start by clarifying the problem. Humans have fundamentally altered Earth's ecosystem by interfering with the carbon, nitrogen, water, and phosphorus cycles. Human activity changes the atmosphere, oceans, waterway, forests, and ice sheets, and diminish biodiversity. Indeed, the effects of human behavior on the planet's ecosystem have become so significant in the last few centuries that many scientists, many specialists now believe that the planet had entered a new geological epoch. As the environmental consequences of human activity becomes increasingly apparent, so does humanity's responsibility to mitigate them. For almost six decades, since past World War II, the subject of development has been defined as development that meets the need and of the physical and the material without looking to the environmental aspect and the holistic aspects of human life. But this view is no longer tenable. A new approach is needed. It is sustainable development. It is defined as development that meets the needs of the present while safeguarding the Earth's life support system on which the welfare of the current and the future generation is preserved. After all, a healthy thriving planet is a prerequisite for a healthy and prosperous life. David Briggs and his colleagues identified six universal goals for sustainable development. First, life and living. Second, security, water sustainability, clean energy, health of the system, and lastly, good governance. The next step is to define measurable targets, such as better leaves for slum dwellers, better home for the homelessness people at cities, or reduce deforestation. Genuine progress in any of the six targets area will require a comprehensive approach with policies that span the economic, the social, environmental domains. The sustainable development goes 